everybody, Kitsune Haruri here, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you some more items from Zuru 5 Surprise. It's two different products, and of course two different ones of each product. I'm starting us out with Zuru 5 Surprise Plushy Pets. Two of those. And Zuru 5 Surprise Mini Fashion. I'm assuming that these are going to be along the same lines as the real littles and all of them, the stuff that they're doing. So let's go ahead and get these open and see what we've got. Oh, wait, there's a new note here. Made from certified recycled plastic. So there's a little upgrade from what they have been doing. Very nice. They've been starting to think about this a little bit and how much packaging they're using. Let's go ahead and get this open. These are a little bit different. That's package one. Here's package two. Oh, that one opened properly. This time, it's just a big ball. Not like the things they usually have. So I believe, yep, pop it. That could possibly be used for something. We've got some paperwork in the shape of a tiny purse. On the back, we show some chihuahuas and accessories. What's in the front? some little, can you find rare mini bags? So I guess the bags are rare. There's rings, more bags. Looks like little makeup items. And an advertisement for their other mini brands. Okay. And I've got two packages in here. There's supposed to be five surprises. Let's see if they actually give us five. Let's start with this one. Oh, well, yes, there's a whole bunch of little things in these. This one shows a is a sticker of a rather fancy purse. A tiny makeup jar that actually opens and has cream in it. Not real cream, of course, it's plastic. But the lid does open. Here's a tiny golden compact. It's quilty looking on top. And yes, it does open and have a mirror and makeup. And along with those, a tiny brush that actually has bristles. Those are soft. Very nice. If you're a doll collector, those are a perfect size for your dolls if they're about mini or Barbie size. See what's in the other bag? From the feel of the plastics, they're biodegradable. Oh, and in this one, it's a purse. Oh, and there's something in the purse as well. Let me open it up. The little purse feels like it's made out of vinyl. It's nicely printed, sewn, even has a proper little buckle. This does open. And you can actually store things inside of it. These are excellent for doll collectors. That's a functional purse. And inside of it, wrapped in paper, what do I have? Oh. Yeah. Well, inside of it, it just had a wad of paper. All right. So that appears to be what our five surprises are. You have a purse, a sticker, and three makeup items for this one. We can take this little purse and put those inside. Now 
Now there's no actual clasp. Oh wait, no there is. It's got a magnetic clasp. So there it is. And everything is inside. So far that's a strong start. Let's set these back here and have a look at the rest. Package number two for the fashion. All right, bubble number two. Paperwork. Start with the small pack. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Hold on. <laughs> Interestingly, this is the sticker of the purse from the last one. <laughs> There's a pair of tiny, tiny sunglasses that actually fold up. Sunglasses that, as you can see, actually function. A tiny wallet that snaps shut and actually functions. It doesn't open all the way. You can't put anything in it, but you can actually open and close it and the snap works on it. As tiny as that is. Feels like it's a, a rubber one. And the tiniest little perfume bottle the lid does open. As you can see, it has the little top. Very nice. Let's see what's in here. Ooh. Aren't we fancy? This also has the magnetic glass because it's actually catching on its metal chain. Look how nice that is. This one is vinyl as well. has top handle. It's got a real chain. Magnetic clasp. Pull the paper out of there. It's a good size bag. Again, it's a good, good size for minis and also for Barbie sized dolls that you collect. Um, this one I would dare say could probably go to sizes um, I say definitely Monster High would work. You could use these for Rainbow High. That's a good size purse. And again all the little accessories can be placed inside with no problem whatsoever. So those are rather nice. Let me have a look at my paperwork here. Can you find the rare mini bags? So that's one of the rare. Or is it a regular? I guess it's a regular. And again, I'm going to see the rares. Okay, the rare, there's a pink clear, a gold, and then there's a ring. And in these items, got the perfume, the purse, our wallet, the sunglasses, the makeup brush, the compact. I've got quite a few of them already. I guess in some of these, though, you can get one of two chihuahuas. Because everyone needs a chihuahua in their purse, right? <laughs> Great. Those, those are very nice. The Zuru uh, Mini Fashion is actually pretty much on scale to its own items so far as what I've seen and they're also functional which doing something on that scale that functions that that's a challenge even for people who do these things by hand so yeah really nice I am very pleased with that let's see what the plushy pets have for us and it says here that there's a little dog tag on the front it says that there are five surprises inside so let's see if that holds true. Looks like we're going to open easy too. Only a single layer on the outside. 
and the little tag pops off. I'll catch that in a minute. Pop, and we're straight to it. No extra packaging, just straight in, whoops, and ready to roll. Little ball. Here's the paperwork. And there's just a bunch of different animals you can get. You get a plushy pet, a magic milk bottle, which is one of the drink away bottles. If you haven't seen those in a while, it has milk and it drains. Three stickers. I see two. Did I drop one? Adoption certificate. Sticker number one. Sticker number two. Really? It's supposed to be three? Well, oh, number three is stickers, okay. Adoption certificate and collector's guide. And now that we've seen the bottles and accessories, here's the pet that I got. I got a little spotty dog. Uh, he's okay. He's not great. Got shiny stuff inside of his ears. He's rather cheap made, though. Not a very nice one. His accessories are better than he is. So <laughs> and he is called Papa. They didn't put any effort into this one. Stickers are great though. I like the stickers. I like the little bottle. That can be used elsewhere. So I'm not going to hold a lot of hopes on this one being any better. Oh, that just tore loose. Well, okay. Can you find the rare golden chick? Probably not. They're not really well known for getting a lot of their rares out. Pop this and once again, milk bottle. Fleshy Pet sticker again. That's a cute little sticker. And this time it's a little elephant. He's cuter than the puppy is. His name is Snaws. His name's not cute though. This little guy I kind of like. He's a little bit better made than this one is. This one looks cheap. It doesn't have all of its filling. This one's a little better. Um, either way, they're still not exactly a high-end collectible type of toy. The bottles are okay, but you only need so many of those, right? The stickers are very nice. I, I like those. Those two little stickers look way better than the characters that they depict. There's those. Not as exciting as the last two were. But anyway, if you're just looking for a little something for a little kid, sure, they'll be all right. Just don't go to too young of a child. These are small parts, and these are really not made for very young children. Um, but anyway, it's always a mixed bag with these kinds of mini brands. Really, really great job on the purses. Mediocre job on the plushies. Anyway, guys. If you enjoy this content, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Visit me on Patreon and in Etsy at Steam Fox Latte. And I will be seeing you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.